So guys, you want to see how far 355 pound gets you in Bentley parts. Look no further. The little indicator for the gun mirror, chrome trim for the side. That is not even brand new. That's second end. Another chrome trim for the front bumper. 355 pound. So guys, welcome back to the channel. And as the subscribers will know, we've pretty much got about two weeks till we take the 10,000 pound Bentley into Monaco. And it is far from done. We've got panels to line up. We've got fitment issues with the tires. And there's still plenty more to do on it before we have to go. One of them being, now we've fitted these huge 22 inch alloys, you can actually see the brake disc a lot more. And the inside here, actual wheel hub inside here is pretty rusty it's pretty ugly and also the brake caliper is seen better days so i think we need to polish up the bentley bit we need to sort out the brake caliper we need to paint the inside of the brake hub that's just one of the things i'm still yet to find a window tint guy in leicester who could do that within two weeks because the window tints are absolutely terrible it's quite hard to see on there and quite annoyingly the headlights are looking tired i'm still in two minds whether to completely tint them so they're like sort of blacked out murdered stealth look or do i take them all off again and refurbish them but i think we definitely have to do it again and there's still panels to line up like this nice big gap on that side and not so big on that side so that's got to be done might not take too long but first off i think we should go and get the parts to fix the calipers and the brake hubs and sort of tart them up a bit so let's get in the bentley and let's head out hang on a minute before we go and before we leave i'd like to answer one question that a lot of you guys actually asked me how do i afford to ensure the q5 the bentley and the a45 the answer to that is easy Adrian Flux. I've been with Adrian Flux for years now and I can't recommend them enough. They really help out young drivers, drivers with modified cars, track day insurance. So what I've done, I've put a link in the description box below what you can click and go directly to a page and get a quote for your car. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Right, let's go. Absolutely killing off the street. I don't know what it looks like to the neighbors, but I... It's definitely got to look suspicious. Yes. Yes. Well, it's a good job we're taking it for a test run because we have an engine management light. That is not looking so good, is it? Fantastic. And we are back. So do you guys want to see the good news or the bad news? Let me tell you the good news first. We have no more check engine light. Yes. Bad news, and you're not gonna believe this. Remember the cap that we just bought for that side, which was a stupid amount of money? We lost it somewhere on the motorway on this side now. <laughs> so, I think it was just destined to go. So, I'm gonna have to order another one of them. How many things will fall off on the way to Monaco? I do not know. Right, it's time to get this thing in the air and stop refurbing the calipers and wheel hubs. Let's do it. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks gonna make mistake I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me May my troubles to rest Blow the smoke Okay, so before I show you the end product of the uh, calipers and the hubs, which are looking 10 times better now, we've got to sort out the sticky door handle 
and uh, I've been dreading this. I've been absolutely dreading it. Before I show you the sticky door handle though, I actually had a little play around with the panels on the front. This was off camera, I'm sorry, but come and have a look. So now the wing actually is pretty even both sides. So the panel gap is looking pretty good. Excuse me, mucky handprints on the front. Let's get on to this door. So the door handle is sticky. No. So there you go. It takes a few times for it to open. This is probably my error as when I was taking the door handles off. I probably didn't put it back together 100%. It's something that happens. I mean, what can you do? It just means I've got to do it all again. Also, the, fr the front bit of the window is not quite seated into place properly and we get a lot of whistling when you uh, go at about 60 mile an hour. So let's get the door card off and let's line everything up and hopefully get it back to action. Yeah. Okay, so here is the inside of the door handle and if I had to explain to you what I'm going to have to do to make this work, I, I wouldn't be able to explain it, I, li I literally can't, I barely even know myself, but I'm going to have a fiddle around with it, make it work and I'll check back with you in 3, 2, 1. Right, the time is now. I'm that confident. No, I'm not confident. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Okay, let's see if it opens. It opens. Does it lock? Yes, it locks. It just tried to open then because it's keyless entry. Open. First time. Get in. Back in the food. Link in description for them. Right now, I need to take it for a drive. I'll show you guys the calipers and the wheel hubs. See if the window is still whistling. Hopefully it's not. I have hopefully aligned it now. But then I'll check back with you tomorrow because it's getting dark now. See you in three, two, one. I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picks a perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. And there we have it. The calipers are all blacked out. The hubs are all blacked out. Nothing fancy or anything like that, but I just think it's much less distracting than having like a rusty old hub or rusty old caliper. Yes, I could have left the Bentley part on the caliper a like chrome color, but when I did it, I just didn't think it looked that great and I decided to just black the whole thing out. So as you can see now, it is literally completely blacked out to keep the car looking stealth. Obviously, I've got to go head to Wheel Mania now and we're going to see what we can do about the wheel robin, but there's a huge cardboard box in the back which contains an exhaust for the Bentley and that will be fitted in the next video. So guys, stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you have clicked the subscribe button and hopefully you're enjoying this sort of series up to when we can finally take this thing to Monaco. I'm literally rushing the videos out. I'm rushing to get this ready. So Bear with me guys, because hopefully the end product is definitely gonna be worth it. And also real quick before we go, shout out, shout out to everyone that's grabbed themselves a Matt Armstrong 37 piece toolkit, and also some of the jet tags as well. If you bought both of them, I'll throw in a little freebie as well. You guys are absolute legends. You're supporting the channel. And you're also helping yourself out by getting yourself a toolkit. We're getting more people out on the driveway. Thank you every single one of you. See you in the next video. Peace out.